Hi guys, Ethereal Awakening here, doing individual zodiac sign reading. This one's for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Check your North Node. Um, before these videos today, I'm doing a subscription drive, trying to reach 100 subscribers. And upon doing so, I will do my first pick a card reading. So as soon as I hit 100, I'm going to do um, a pick a card for each individual element. Um, so whatever your element is, Gemini is an air sign. So you would go to the air sign reading and each element will have three choices. So there will be an opportunity when this happens um, for each zodiac to still have an individual reading apart from the others. But I do enjoy my, you know, going into the other readers uh videos and looking at pick a card readings myself so i thought what better way to pull in some subscriptions get me to 100 subscribers um to do my own pick a card reading so please subscribe if you haven't already and this one is for gemini spirit sun moon rising venus check your north nodes your heart is your best guide if something in the message resonates it's for you if it leaves a bad taste spit it out move on no big deal Spirit, what messages do we have for Gemini? Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Spirit, what messages do we have for Gemini? Spirit, what messages do we have for Gemini? Sun, moon, rising, Venus. What messages do we have for Gemini? All right, feels good. And here we go. First two cards are current energy. Page of Cups. Five of Pentacles. Heart Space. The Magician. Magician. <laughs> King of Swords. Gemini showing up. As the Manifester. Recognizing what it takes to manifest. Learning your current energy with this page of cups and the five of pentacles is learning about yourself, learning through the pain, taking a, a painful loss, a painful exclusion, something that left you feeling excluded, left out, hurt, and in pain, going, wow, this is why that happened. Forgiving of the parties involved, including yourself, and learning as that gift to yourself of, I don't want to be in that pain anymore. And then that, in turn, puts you in your heart space as your own energy, Gemini energy, very clear about how to manifest in the future. I manifested that feeling. Accepting of complete responsibility in the situation that left you feeling excluded. Well, I did. I left myself excluded by not being intuitively accepting of myself. We all have that intuition in us. When you get into a situation, something is like, man, you should not be doing this with this person. Oh, well, you love them. Well, you've just abandoned yourself so that it's taking responsibility. This is you looking at you going, I'm so sorry I didn't pay attention to you. You tried to tell me not to get into this and I ignored it and now I'm hurt. I'm sorry I did that to me. I'm learning, I, you know, baby steps. Be gentle with yourself. Be kind and compassionate with yourself because... In the heart space, we can really clearly see how we manifested the past pains and hurts and how we don't want to do that anymore. Possible outcome. Four of swords. Some much needed healing. Gem. Strength. And how strong you're going to be through healing all of that. Amazing job, Gemini. Here's this possible outcome. Rest, reflection, reprieve that pulls through some emotional resilience, some physical strength, some spiritual strength 
to move forward with. Because in your heart, you are you, 100%, coming back into you. Underlying energy, queen of rods. Nine of rods and justice. There's more air energy. It's Libra, but this is when I see, because you see all that yellow. And that's the solar plexus chakra. That seat in the world that we all want to fulfill. I want to be of service to the collective. I want my individual talents and experiences to benefit my fellow man that's what yellow represents and that is spirit coming through big time hand in hand with you recognizing your own intuitive knowing as the gift that's the gift that drives you forward that drives you into this karmic understanding that there was nothing that happened by mistake nothing that happened as a waste so long as the justice card is in the deck so long as the justice card reigns karma god's law this is this is god's law honestly and fairly being distributed without any help external Although, it's this toroidal kind of flow. Yes, we have to operate and do as we do for it to exist. But as so long as we breathe, this will be the rule. It all is happening very fairly. Whether you recognize it as the fairness or not is not required. It's still happening. But this is, a, this is a Gemini recognizing that. And not only are you recognizing it, but you're guarding it. Learn, but being appreciative of each painful experience you've gone through. Because that is the gift to yourself that you will now turn around and help pull your brothers that are going through those same experiences with. And that's your underlying energy. Because remember, your current energy is learning each individual experience that we've gone through as a learning experience our feelings and emotions are there to guide us well do you like that feeling no okay do differently this time taking each experience and and learning a lesson through it because you deserve it you want you to recognize that you were in pain and you want you to do things differently to not be put in that pain anymore. Because you have manifested it all. Each individual time that someone abandoned you is a direct reflection from a time that before that, before they even got to the point where they could abandon you, you abandoned you. And that is someone being very brutally honest. Well, I just saw it. No. We all have those red flags. We all see them it's that feeling and we ignore it well we love these people you got to love yourself enough because you saw it coming no matter how little of a nudging or big of a oh my gosh this is really good this is gonna blow up i know this is gonna blow up but all right i'm going with you buddy well no more don't go with the buddy let the buddy have the painful experience while you sit back and heal yourself. So that anything in the future, so you become your own best friend. And in the future, you have healed and are so much stronger for it. Well, that's all I got for you, Gemini. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Take care.